As the EVA begins, Josh Cassida as EV1 in the red stripes will egress the airlock first, followed by EV2, Frank Rubio, with the white stripes. They will each grab a bag, and then both crew members will translate out to a location on the truss to set up their tethers. EV-1 will head to the IROSA carrier that has the stowed solar arrays to begin setting up that worksite by stowing his crew lock bag on a handrail and retrieving his pistol grip tool. EV-1 will then release the first restraint bolt on the IROSA. Meanwhile, EV-2 will head outboard to drop off their cable bag, then retrieve and stow their crew lock bag at the 3A IROSA mod kit. Back at the IROSA carrier, EV-1 will retrieve an articulating portable foot restraint and install it on the end of the space station's robotic arm. EV-1 ingresses that foot restraint, providing a stable platform to allow the IROSA to be carried from the carrier out to the mod kit installation location. Once complete at the mod kit, EV-2 translates inboard and begins preparing the IROSA for removal from the carrier. First, EV-2 will release two anti-rotation devices from the carrier. These devices secure the primary restraint bolts during the high vibration loads seen during launch. EV-2 will then partially release the primary restraint bolts and install the first of two handling aids, called scoops, in preparation for removing the IROSA from the carrier. On the robotic arm, EV-1 will fly over to access two sets of bolts on the boom end of the IROSA. The first two bolts will allow the boom deployment system rollers to be moved into place, later helping the arrays during deployment. The second two bolts will release two of four mechanisms holding the IROSA in its rolled up configuration. The robotic arm will then fly EV-1 over to the other side of the IROSA, and both crew members will work together to release the final bolt holding IROSA to the carrier. They will then install a second scoop, and then lift IROSA off of the carrier. After several maneuvers on the robotic arm, EV-1 will arrive at the mod kit worksite. During these maneuvers, EV-2 will reconfigure EV-1's safety tether and meet EV-1 out at the mod kit. Both crew will work together to install the IROSA onto the mounting bracket. The crew will remove the scoops, and EV-1 will move into position to release the final bolt holding the IROSA in its folded position. Once released, EV-2 will hold IROSA closed while EV-1 egresses the foot restraint and gets into position. Both crew will then work together to unfold IROSA and secure the right side onto the mounting bracket. Once secure, EV-1 will drive two hinge bolts that hold the IROSA in the unfolded position and move away from the IROSA to reconfigure their safety tethers. EV-2 will then drive eight bolts to fully secure the IROSA to the mounting bracket. Both crew will then work to electrically connect the new IROSA to the ISS power system. They'll first attach four connectors to IROSA then move to either side of the legacy array to disconnect the old array and connect a Y cable that allows power to flow from both the new IROSA and the legacy array. At this point, EV-2 will move to a deployment viewing position and EV-1 will release the final two bolts restraining IROSA in the undeployed position. 
IROSA will deploy over the next 6 to 10 minutes, and once complete, EV1 will release two bolts that allow the IROSA blankets to become tensioned. EV1 will translate back to the IROSA carrier and begin work on releasing the carrier beams that previously held the IROSA. These beams need to be rotated out of the way to allow access to the lower IROSA on the second EVA. EV2 will clean up the mod kit worksite, retrieve a crew lock bag, and head to the carrier to help EV1 with the carrier beams. The crew members will work together to release the bolts holding the beams in place, then rotate the beams out of the way and secure them back down. This is the last task in the first EVA, and both crew will clean up their worksite and translate back to the airlock to clean up their tethers, ingress, and begin repressing the airlock.